Hey friends, today I'm reading one of my favorite old traditional tales called The Little Red Hen, but this has a spin, Makes a Pizza, by Philemon Sturgis, and it says retold by because she didn't make up The Little Red Hen, she made up this version, illustrated by Amy Walrod. And I'm sure most of you have heard the story before, but it's a good one and you can hear it over and over again. The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. The little red hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She'd sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. I love pizza. Do you like pizza? She rummaged through her pan drawer, and there were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans. But not one single pan was large and round and flat. Cluck, she said. I need a pizza pan. She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. I like the way the animals are dressed up, like the dog is wearing dog biscuits. The duck has a floaty. Of course, ducks should know how to swim. And the cat, he's dressed up like a um, jazz musician. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. Like a lot of other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard and she saw beans and rice, sugar and spices, jars of jam and jars of honey, an evil pickled eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, she said, I need flour. I guess she should have figured that out before she went to the store. It was a little bit, there, that's better. It was a little bit of a glare. I don't know if you could see all the things she bought, including the kitchen sink, which is right here. She stuck her head out the window. Hello, she said. Who'll run to the store and fetch me some flour? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Of course, there's the ice cream truck and they'd rather do that. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket and she bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. So, once again, she should have figured this out before she went to the store. Here's all the stuff she bought. There's a fridge full of cheese, but no mozzarella, which is the cheese that you need to make pizza. She stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. And look at this picture of the money. It says moolah. That's a slang term for money, and it's got a picture of a cow on it. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, a can of eight small anchovies, which are little fish, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Well, not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well, then I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and spun it around her head several times. Now, I've never been able to do that, but they kind of throw it up in the air and twist it around. That'd be kind of fun. 
When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it in her pizza pan. If I did that, it'd probably stick to the ceiling or end up on the floor. Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the toppings? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Very well, then I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. Now think about the regular version of the little red hen. She's always asking her friends to help, and they're always saying no. So in some versions, she doesn't let anybody eat the pizza. Let's see what happens in this one. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. She put it in the oven and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon, a delicious smell drafted from, drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated right out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. Now, here's everybody who didn't want to help her, and look what they're doing. They're sniffing and sniffing and sniffing. Kids are smelling that delicious pizza. Pizza smells really good when it's cooking. Wow, that is a huge pizza. It was lovely. It was a really lovely pizza, but it was not little. That's a gigantic pizza. I wish I had a giant pizza right now. I love pizza. I could eat pizza every day. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? So I guess you got your answer. In some versions, like I said, she doesn't share the pizza. But in this one, she does, even though they didn't help her. She was still being nice, even though they weren't. Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? If somebody says, do you want some pizza? Usually you say, yes. They all said yes, of course, but the cat scraped most of the toppings off his share. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now can you guess what the duck said? The cat and the dog each said, what do you think they're going to say? They just had a free pizza. They each said, I will, I will, I will. So she gets to sit and rest while they clean up. And they did. There they are cleaning up after the pizza. I really like that version of the story. And I also like the fact that even though they didn't help her, she was nice enough to let them have the pizza. I like it when people are um, treat others as you want to be treated, right? I like that. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope you get to eat some pizza soon. And why don't you tell me what your favorite kind of pizza is? So I don't eat meat, so my favorite kind of pizza has spinach, garlic, cheese, pretty much any kind of vegetable I love. All right, friends, happy reading.